Namaste guys, in this video we are going to learn what is the correct way to do Bevel gear mating in SOLIDWORKS, okay? So I saw many videos and I don't find most of them are correct. So I'm going to tell you what is the correct way to do mating, okay? So let's try to choose the standard one. Let's say ISO, power transmissions, gears. Let's select state Bevel gear, okay? And if you wait it, you will get the dimensions. Let's take the module to one and number of teeth on this is uh, 30 and number of teeth on pinion will be 15 uh, now we are going to just change, change some parameters so move down uh, you can reduce the hub diameter to 20 or 8 better and you can change the shape di uh, shop diameter to 5 uh, let's reduce the width instead of 12 let's say it is 8 okay so click ok and close this now go again here now drag this this time the module is 1 and the number of teeth on this is 15 number of teeth on gear is 30 okay and reduce the face width to 5 move downwards reduce the hub diameter to 20 shaft to 5 or 8 and click ok so I have these two so how can I approach this so there are two ways to make it ok so let's see the difficult way and after that we will see what is the easy way okay so if i try to move it you can see the selected components is fixed and cannot be moved so first thing we have to do is right click on it and click on float now you can see i can move it now go here and uh, yeah right click on it and click on show similarly go to the second gear and right click on it and click on show so currently we are not able we are now able to see the sketches of both the gears now let's do the mating so let's see one by one how to approach this so click on mate select this and select the front plane click ok now if you look you can see i can move upward and downwards and this direction as well so i don't want it ok I just want that this gear rotate and it doesn't move any other direction. So what I can do, select this and select the front plane, click OK and select this face and select the right plane, click OK. Uh, okay, I, I guess I selected the wrong plane first. So select this and select the front plane. Not the front, I guess. Let's see where we have made it. So this one is this. Okay, right click and edit. So instead of front plane, delete. Select the top plane. Click OK. Now if I try to move it, you can see I can't uh, drag it, I can only rotate and this is what basically I want, okay. Now I question is how can I move this position to here correctly. So if you watch carefully, you can see this point and this point, okay. So we are going to use them. So click on mate, select this point and this point and click OK. Now I question is that, okay, I have reached to this point but how can I make them place correctly 
So if you ever saw a bevel gear, you know that we will get transfer power at a 90 degree angle. So we can use that. So select this, go to the mids and select this. Click on perpendicular. Okay. You can see we are getting the correct thing. So click OK. But still it is, if we, if I try to move it, you can see uh, it is moving. I just want that it doesn't move. I just want that it is rotate only, only here about this axis. So what I can do, select this, click on here and select a plane. So let's see this plane will do. So select the front plane, click OK. Now our gear is OK but it is not correctly meshed. So select this gear and rotate it till you see it correctly aligned. As you can see, it's aligned now. Now what you need to do is go to the mates and go to the mechanical mates, click on gear, select this and select this. So basically here yeah, now you need to add the gear ratio. So what will be the gear ratio? So enter the value of 2 here, enter the value of 1 here. So basically I'm just defining the gear ratio, okay, 2, two, uh, two ratio 1. So if I click on, if I try to rotate this one, you can see I'm getting the animation. Okay, I'm getting the wrong animation. Right click here. So one way other you can do is how many teeth this gear has? 15. I actually put the wrong gear ratio, so my bad. 30. Click OK. You can see it's working now. So this is a difficult way, okay? As you can see, it consumes a lot of time and effort. And trust me, uh, even I don't like this. So let's see what is the another way. So for a second, let's just right click on it and just suppress all these mates, okay? Now let's see what is the simple and easy way to do this. So, so to do that, simply select a plane, click on sketch, press Ctrl plus 8. So here is the easy way that I basically like the most. And exit. I just simply create a sketch of 90 degree angle, okay? It doesn't matter how big these, uh, these lines are. Uh, it doesn't matter to me, okay? So what we are going to do is click on mate, select this and this, this line. Okay, make sure it is concentric. Click OK and move it downward. Select this and the, uh, just don't select any plane uh, for a second right now. Move it downwards. Just what you're going to do is select this point and by pressing the nose select this point and go to the mates. Just coincide them. That's all. Similarly, select this one point and this point. Make them coincide. Now, select this axis and select this. Okay, let's see. We that we don't have any extra mates. So, so first, right click on it and delete it for a second. I think there is a mistake here. So first thing we are going to do is go to the mate, select this line and this line, click OK. After that, select this point and this point, click OK. You see they are uh, nearly at that place, all you need to do is move a little bit and go to the mechanical mates, here, just simply enter the gear, gear ratio. So this has 15 teeth, this has 30 teeth, click OK. Now if you notice that if I try to move up and down, I can only rotate and nothing else. So this is for easier way and correct way. And you can see this sketch is looking quite ugly. So let's just hide them, uh, right click, click on hide, similarly select this one right click and hide so and if you even want to hide this case simply go here and hide so you can see in that way you can simply make your gear and here you notice something is weird that my gear is rotating opposite direction so how to resolve this okay 
So what you need to do is simply right click on it, edit feature, click on reverse, click OK and that's all. You can see it's working now. So I hope you guys learned something from this video. If you have any kind of doubts and queries, feel free to ask. Okay. So and make sure that you check out my free course SolidWorks course link in description. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Namaste.